Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement. In this video, we will learn some useful tips regarding the data validation. Let's first understand what is data validation. As you know that as an Excel user, when you open a worksheet, you can write anything inside a cell, which might have some meaning or which might have some not a useful thing for do for a, another user. So it's create a garbage. So garbage in and garbage out concept, right? So if I write any thing inside a cell, it will accept. It cannot uh, create a validation rule for us to restrict based on any kind of input by a user, right? So a user can write anything which might be have a meaning or which which might does not have any kind of a meaning or unnecessary things. So to restrict uh, the user based on certain conditions in Microsoft Excel, we use the data validation tips so that the user who is entering the data in, in a spreadsheet uh, must follow some rules in order to meet the criteria and give the clean data or required data only. Okay, so for this purpose, we use the data validation. So I have some scenarios in this particular spreadsheet and we solve it one by one and you can analyze that what kind of data validation rules you can apply at your end as well and i hope that you find this video useful so the first data validation criteria which we will discuss is we will restrict the cell g4 so that the user can only enter a value between 1 till 10 okay so to so to enter a data validation, we have to go to the data tab and uh, in the data tools group, you will find a small icon for the data validation. So click on that. When you click on data validation, uh, a dialog window will appear and uh, here you have, you can see there are three tabs, settings, input message and error alert. So go to data, data validation and in the settings, we will select here whole number and in the data we will select between you can explore more criteria later on like not between equals to not equals to greater than less than and so on so for it in this situation we will have a between criteria and we want uh, uh, to restrict a user between 1 till 10 so in the minimum I have defined 1 and the maximum it's 10 okay and when the user write let's suppose if, if he writes his names he's not following the rules uh, if we write five here the cell will accept because the rules allow him to do so if you write a big number it will not allow okay another thing is that in the data data validation we can also define a message for that user as well like please input value please input any value between 1 till 10 and we can also further describe a uh, style in the error alert there are three different styles stop warning and the information as well okay so I will go with the stop style and uh, I can further say that call at my number okay or any other instruction you would like to give so if a user follow it or if, if a user does not follow it it will show it accordingly right the next is enter a number only so let's do it quickly data data validation and uh, let's say whole number you can go with the decimal as well if you would like to uh, in this situation we are going with the whole number and let's say it should be less than 100 so a user is allowed to input a value uh, less than 100 so if I write 99 it will accept the next situation is how we can restrict a user to enter a date only in a cell okay not any other kind of a thing so entering a date uh, we'll go to data data validation and from here we will select date and we will go with a between criteria whereas you have many other different kind of criteria available so you can explore that as well so i have already defined the start and end date in some other cells so i will pick that so minimum date is the 1st January 2022 which is in I6 and the maximum date which is 31st of March 2022. So if I write today's date which is 7th of April 2022 so 
the cell will not allow because we have used the data validation uh, if I write any date between 1st January till 31st March so for example 2nd Feb 2022 so the cell accepts the next situation is do not enter back dates we don't want users to allow to enter some previous dates or the back dates for doing that we will go to data data validation and here we will select date and in the data drop down we will select greater than and equals to and we will write a function here which is a volatile function equals to today bracket open bracket close and I will press ok so if I enter some previous dates let's suppose yesterday was uh, 6th of April 2022 so back dates now are not allowed if I write today's date for example for uh, 7th of April 2022 so we I can add today's or the future dates in this situation the next situation is select from a list so how we can create a drop down list uh, by the data validation very easy we will go to data data validation and here we will select list and in the source we will define these age brackets which I have already defined so now you can see a, a drop down a, a small arrow icon at the right side of a cell and you can select any kind of a field from here right next situation is enter text of a given length we want to restrict this particular cell uh, so that the user can only add uh, seven characters or less than seven characters okay it could be alphabets or it could be numbers or a mixture so we will go to data data validation and here we will select text length and we will say that less than or equals to seven so for example if I write my name Raheem here which is definitely uh, five characters so it's accepting but if I write Raheem Ali so definitely I am not following the rule now let's go to the special condition so there are two special conditions uh, the first one is enter value only if date in cell g6 is specified so if in g6 if you can see here in g6 i have a highlighted with a different color so if a cell g6 contains a date then the user will be allowed to enter a value or a number or anything inside cell g11 okay so how to do that condition so I will go to data data validation and this time I will go to custom and I will write a small formula here so equals to this cell which is g6 make it absolute should not be equals to blank so every time there should be a date this means that it should not be equals to blank every time there should be a date and also uncheck this ignore blanks uh, field as well okay and press OK so now if I write something here so the cell accepts but for example if I remove or delete a date from G6 and I come back to G11 and I enter something here so definitely the rule does not follow here so it's restricting so if I again go to that cell and I add any date and if I come back to this cell so now it's allowing me to enter a specific thing so this is a based on a dependent cell where you can use the data validation on certain criteria as well right the next is that uh, in the special condition enter g12 or h12 only so we have two cells g12 and h12 and we just want to basically uh, use one cell at a time not the both cells okay so how we gonna do that so we will select these two cells together first go to data data validation again we will select custom and we will define a formula here so equals to count a bracket open we will select these two cells make it absolute should be less than two okay and I will say okay so let's say if I write a name here Excel and if I write something here Ali so it is not allowing me to enter anything or if I write something here Excel and if I go back to G12 and I write Ali so it's not allowing me so I can use one cell at a time between these two cells okay any one cell at a time uh, in, in between these two cells so I've restricted that with the data validation 
the last situation is that do not allow duplicate so we have uh, almost five cells and we don't want to allow duplicates to be enter in this particular range so for example if i write my name raheem so at this point uh, this range is allowing me to enter duplicate values whereas we want to restrict uh, so that we do not add the duplicate values so first thing is that we will uh, we will select this range okay so i will select these five cells i will go to data data validation and i will go to custom and i will define a formula here okay so equals to count if starting cell is g14 colon g14 so we will make this particular range uh, dynamic so the first cell will be absolute second will relative and then in the count if the next function argument is of criteria so the criteria starts also from g14 and we will say that uh, this every cell have a value and count that it should be equals to one any value which is more than one would be a duplicate and it will restrict automatically so i will press ok and let's start writing raheem ali salim and again raheem so it's not allowing me to enter the duplicate values right so this is how i restricted that so so far we have seen nine different kind of situations in the data validation tips and tricks i hope you find this video worthful and you will apply certain kind of rules in your reports but data validation is not limited here you can create any kind of a rule based on excel formulas and functional logics and you can define in custom formatting so that you can restrict the user to make sure that the user provides you the relevant data not the garbage data so that your time should not be consumed in data cleaning processes. Thank you.